my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? Do we love? Do we live? I live. I love. This is the most electrifying blue liner I have worn to date. And it is by Juvia's Place. Their new collection, The Garden of Juvia's. They came out with a whole bunch of liquid liners. And I said to myself, that blue is calling my name. Just look at how fabulous this electric cobalt blue is. And how beautiful is it on our chocolate brown skin. I just pulled the hair back. I said, you know what? This doesn't need too much. Put on earrings. I put a little bit of glow on my chest. A blue shirt and really that was it this is your pop of color for those even that feel ah, I can be a bit too much this Cobra blue is life Juvia's please don't forget to use my discount code F U M I darlings welcome to a new episode a lot of you have come into my DMS a lot of you <laughs> I don't mind I really don't last week somebody said to me for me, you said you and Christina met online. What app did you use? And it tickled me pink. First and foremost, Christina and I did meet online. She was one of my subscribers. She was one of my supporters. She's one of my sisters, just like you guys. She had reached out to me and we had like a light banter. It happens when I see your name kind of regularly and I will make it a point to try to respond to you. It's just what it is. Anyway, she went on to send me an email and I think we had discussed this in the last episode talking about beauty, was she too old to start? And I said, girl, you are not too old to start anything. Failure comes from never trying, but you got to try because you never know where it will take you. From there, I invited her to my first masterclass with Urban Decay. Urban Decay had invited me to do a masterclass using their products. And I was allowed to invite as many people as I wanted. And I invited her. And as you guys know, the rest is history. So what is the topic for this particular episode? Online dating. Online dating is a must, 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 must. We do it in our regular lives. At work, we talk to other co-workers, working in other states, in other countries. We don't get to meet them for maybe two, three years when perhaps a conference brings you guys together. We chat with other people online related to business, queries, we're selling stuff to each other because one is moving or the other, you become friends. We always have that kind of correspondence. Now, let me stop there for one minute. Back in the day, I'm 53, so back in the day, online dating had a stigma. It was a situation where you were going online to solicit for sexual favors, encounters, exchange. That was what it was. And so it had that stigma. But social media has changed all of that. Everybody I meet now is via online. All of you guys is online. Businesses, online. Collaborations, online. I was corresponding with Juvia's Place for two years before I finally collaborated with them. I had never met Chi Chi before. It was all online. I bring this up because I want you to understand if we're doing this in our regular lives for businesses and so on and so forth, it is actually very practical to do it in search of looking for that partner. In this day and age, things have changed. And on top of that, what did we have? We had COVID. So does that mean that you're going to sit alone in your house for those of you that are single and not try to interact and find that perfect person for you? That's ridiculous, that's impossible. The advice that I will give you is if you are dating online, make it very transparent, very clear to whom you are corresponding with online. Do I like this person? And when I say, do I like this person? Does this person have the qualities that you will need and will mesh alongside yours to have a wonderful, 
coexisting relationship that will hopefully include children and a lifetime of happiness. It is extremely important for me too. Yep, what does he look like? Part of your partnership is being attracted to the person, but it's not the whole thing. Be very transparent to everybody. Yes, I'm online dating right now. I'm looking for that someone. Ask all of the right questions. With one, send me another picture apart from the picture that I see on your profile. Yes, it is extremely important because that profile picture could have been from two years ago. You want to have a reality. Ask, can we speak on the phone? Hear the voice because that makes it more of a reality. Have a FaceTime call. They have that on the app so you don't have to disclose your phone number. Find out where that person is at emotionally, physically, yes, mentally, financially. You don't want to have a burden. You have to understand that you have to come and add to the other person's life as you want that person to add to your life. In this day and age, as far as I'm concerned, you should be on a couple of dating sites. Spread out your opportunities because you are fabulous. So you are in that wonderful position where you find that fabulous guy for you. That fabulous guy might not be perfect for somebody else, but he might be perfect for you and vice versa. So you get to ask all of those questions and sometimes you can be like, mm, I'm not feeling it. He's kind of shady. I'm not too sure. You know what? You can stop right there. Thank you very much. You know what? I'm not interested. This is what I am looking for, blah, 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 so on and so forth. If you want to meet up, meet at a neutral place, meet at a bar, the bar where the bartenders and the establishment knows you. It's a safety situation because you are not sure. Never meet somebody at their house. Never meet somebody in their home. Never meet somebody in a private dark corner. Meet in a restaurant, meet in a bar, a bar where they know you so that if anything happens, they can watch out for you and be like, yeah, is she okay? I'm not so sure. Did she get home safe? Do that and spend one hour, light drinks, pay for yours, let him pay for his. Start there and have a little chat and see if you have some sort of chemistry. Because in this day and age, we're meeting online. I meet all of you online via Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok. I'm meeting everybody on a global platform. If I was single, I absolutely would be online looking for that perfect partner. As far as I'm concerned, I think it's much better because you get to screen them just like they screen you. If I meet a guy at a bar or in a club, dark, it's loud, I really don't know, but I think he's cute. What have I gained from that? Apart from perhaps a physical attraction to say, oh, he cute but I don't know his credit score. <laughs> I don't know what he does for a living. I might have asked, he might have asked me, but we push that until a later date. Then right away you exchange numbers. And we think that's the safer option. No, it's not. You don't want to waste your time. You want to make it absolutely transparent that this is what you are looking for. And you will find out through dating and this is a practice platform for a lot of you because you will go out there saying, this is what I want. This is what I desire. I want him to be all of these things. And you realize that those qualities don't match up when it comes to marriage. Also, you save a lot of your time because when you're on the dating app and you have your little bio, my name is Fumi Desalu. Yes, because that's my maiden name. Yeah, my name is Fumi Desalu. I'm looking for a potential husband. I would like to have X amount of children. This is what I do. I'm a content creator. I live in London. I'm 53 years old. I don't have children yet. Put all of that in there. And then right there, those that are serious, please apply. Write it there. I'm not here to play around. I'm not here to waste my time or anybody else's. I am looking to look for a serious partner. Hit me up. Let me know. <laughs> that is what you should do. Make it very clear. 
Let your family members know. Let your friends know that this is what you... It's nothing to hide or nothing because then you bring shame to it as if, oh, I, I can't find somebody, so I'm now reduced to online dating. Listen, if you're in university, that is the biggest potential that you will ever have in a lifetime to meet the opposite sex. That's it. Once you graduate from university, the opportunities dwindle. Why? Because you do not have that vast engagement with that many guys all at one time. University campus? No, you would not. But you see, here's the thing. You might relocate. You might have been married and you're looking for love again. You might have started later, late bloomer, like Fumski. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. It doesn't matter where you started. The thing is, you use online dating as an absolute advantage point for you and to enhance your life. If that is what you want, if you're trying to hook up for a casual relationship, casual sex, I will never understand that. I will never understand that. From a guy's perspective, yes. From a woman's perspective, why waste your time? Why put yourself up on the market shelf like that, as fabulous as you are, just to be borrowed and then to be put back? and your value kind of goes down because you're older. You might be a little bit bruised. You've got another guy that you can put on the block to say, yes, I slept with this person. It doesn't make you feel good spiritually. It doesn't enhance you in any way. As far as I'm concerned, to go online to just to say you want to hook up, you are wasting your time. And when I say your time, you are dwindling all of your opportunities and potentials because as women we have a clock a biological clock and we have an opportunity window where we can have children after that it's tougher so but again if that's what you want to do you want to go online only to hook up fine i am talking about those that really want to meet up with somebody Open up your mind also. Do not restrict to where he has to be black or white. He has to be this height. He has to be Christian or Muslim. All of these things, you are limiting yourself. You might as well just come off online because why did we go online? Because you want to expand your opportunities. So don't go to online dating and then limit your opportunities because that way you're closing the world off to you and you're closing off your potential husband. Your potential husband has to be attractive. I find all kinds of people attractive, physically, that is one, I can understand that. Secondly, if you close your eyes, what do you want in a man? You want kindness, generosity, thoughtfulness, go-getter, somebody who can thrive, somebody who is ambitious, because all of these qualities will enhance your life together. If you're looking only for a guy that's good looking, he's got a fast car, like the Tindler Swindler, you see how that ended up, swindled out of your own emotional, physical, mental health. We're not even talking about money. We're talking about your mental health was swindled, your physical abilities were swindled, everything was swindled and it closes you off and you are closed off. You are apprehensive because you don't know whether you'll be hit like that again because you have to be honest. Your, it, the honesty really starts with you and you drive that bus in online dating. Look through the guys, look and find out, do they want children? Do they have children? Will the baby mama be an issue? These are the questions that you have to ask. I don't have an issue. Okay, I'll tell you. If Ola, for example, had had a child or I had had a child, it wouldn't have been an issue. My next question would have been, is the mother the picture? How would she feel about you getting married again? How would she feel about your son? being in the home with somebody else. These are the questions because you don't want to add aggravation to your life. You want to enhance 
<laughs> your life i don't know many dating sites i'm married 13 14 years in now so i don't know but ask ask what are the dating sites that are out there the serious good solid dating sites that are out there put your profile up there t-shirt jeans address not too overwhelming don't come up there with your latest phone your designer bag because that's false advertisement guys will be like no she's a lot this is what she's looking for i can't afford that dress very simply let them see your face your stomach hair nice clean nails everything and just really just have a wonderful smile about yourself Talk about yourself just a little bit and leave it at that and just see who comes around because it's important for you to know who is coming around that will fit the profile to what you have put out there. So don't swipe. Oh, let me swipe left on that. Look at he's at the beach. He's having a good time. He's, no, you want a solid gentleman with a wonderful smile on his face who has qualities that you would admire. Could this man be a good father? What does he do? It's extremely important. For those of you long distance dating, you have to put in the back of your mind that you might almost probably relocate or he relocates. If you are not prepared to do that and you can see that he is not prepared to do that either, don't waste your time. You've got to let it go and just smile and wave from a distance. You have to be open when you go on to online dating. Because again, like I said, why are you online? Because you want to broaden your horizons. And that will most probably out of your town, out of your village, out of your country. I relocated from Los Angeles to Norway. It didn't bother me one bit because I lived in Scotland. I was born in Moscow. I went to university here in London. So Europe is Europe. It didn't bother me. So you have to be open to that. Are you prepared to relocate? Are you prepared to leave your family? Are you prepared to leave your job? Can you afford to leave your job? Will you get a similar job to where you are going? Are you prepared to be a housewife? Are you prepared to get pregnant right away and have your children? These are the questions you have to ask before you go to online dating. How long do you want to date? Ula and I dated a matter of months and then we were married and we've been married now over 13 years. So it is important to you, what do you want? Write it out and look at it. Oh my God, overwhelming, but am I ready? Am I prepared? When we had Adrian, I kind of, as you very well know, I was a content creator, but I kind of was at home with Adrian for two years, two solid years. Then we got a nanny before we said, you know what, he can now start gingerly going to nursery. These are questions that you have to ask yourselves. Do you want one? Do you want two? Are you a blended family? Is the baby mama going to be an issue? Is the baby daddy going to be an issue? Because sometimes, you know, you have single fathers as well. Online dating will clear all of this for you. It's time consuming, but at the same time, it really does save your time. Because in the first phone call, ask all of these questions and you get a front row seat it's so fabulous front row seat to look at the guys that you just might be interested in and could be a potential father to your children i think online dating is fabulous i wish i had started online dating right in my 20s just to see what is out there and you know practice and that's another thing practice 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 you won't get it right away it takes some time and you have to really be careful with the guys out there because a lot of guys tell a lot of lies i was with my girlfriend the other day and she's online dating and she said for me look at this guy and look at this picture and we looked at the pictures he had about 10 pictures on his profile and she had said i insisted that um i would like to talk to him and she took a screenshot <laughs> completely different guy completely different guy that was on the profile i was even shocked and she let the app know that you know what this guy is a fraud so be careful out there i feel that the stigma is kind of sort of old school 
it can be a, it, it can be dangerous if you don't go through the rules. Ula, what do you think about online dating? Yeah, it's good. Yeah? Yeah, as long as you know what you're doing. And what does that mean if you know what you're doing? Just be street smart. But be street smart meaning what? One or two tips? <laughs> All right, so to be street smart, what tip would you give to my beautiful Fumi Nation for online dating? Well, you have to take it easy. Meet mm. them first, you know, take your time, get to know them before you go too far. What is too far? Well, you know, I wouldn't jump in bed with someone the first day. <laughs> okay. Even it might be tempting. <laughs> Did you hear that? The fabulosity of you, it might be tempting. But yes, take your time. I support online dating a billion percent. Make sure that you have a very current photo of yourself. Stay very sincere, very transparent, very honest with yourself and what you desire and want out of the person. It will quicken, you know, the line will be fast paced and you will get to where you ultimately want to be. Invite me to your weddings, my darlings. Invite me to the baby showers and um, it will be wonderful to give you guys shout outs. I 100% support you guys and find your better halves or find the half that completes you. All of my love, my darlings, I will see you <laughs> very, very soon. And go ahead and get as many beautiful eyeliners from Juvia's Place. They killed it with this. I'm dark in complexion and sometimes it's hard to really get the color to pay off. Juvia's Place did it. Just look. All right, my darlings, Mwah. I love you. <laughs> Bye.